Hey, you have heard about Swami Vivekananda. His name was Narendra Dutta. We, when he came to Ramakrishna Paramhans, he argued with him. He argued with him so much he was annoyed at Ramakrishna Paramhans. He said, what a peaceful life I have been leading. And this boy comes and argues, you know, and sometimes talks nonsense, you know. One day, the sage came, Miss Swami came, and he stepped on him and put his foot over his chest, and he became unconscious. And when he came out to the consciousness, he was completely transformed. Same thing happened with Guru Nanak in a different way. For three days, he was completely unconscious. Same thing happened with the Jewish prophet, Moses, when he went to the mountain for 40 days. Same thing happened with Buddha. That last step of Diksha, where, according to the scripture, Shiva himself gives Diksha. Shiva means he is the lord of yogic sciences. Even Vaishnavas say and accept this. The Shiva is the lord of yogic sciences and that's called Shiva is the teacher of that Diksha. Shambhavi Diksha. All great men who have led the nations Somehow got that diksha. See. Complete transformation. You see. It's not a change, it's complete transformation. There is difference. You cannot, you see, smell from your ears, no matter how much you, you are enlightened. But you are transformed from within. Your thinking is different, your feeling is different, your knowing is different, your whole life's concept changes. You see. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, many such great sages. I used to remember a mantra by birth. Nobody taught me. So when my master gave me first time mantra, I smiled, I said, I already know it, what a new thing already. <laughs> he said, son, I am confirming this, that you are right. Yes, many times I used to feel, hey, nobody gave me this mantra, I remembered it. See, all the time, wherever, many times I used to forget. I had book in my hand and I would remember the mantra and wouldn't study, my teacher would slap me, you see. And he knew that problem, he said, now I am telling you how to use it. You see. In all these dikshas, mantra is always given. What is mantra? You are confused by that. A word, a sound, a set of sound or words. Which are not made by human beings, actually. Which are heard by the sages in deep meditation. Sweta Upanishad explains about. Mahanirvan Tantra talks about variety of diksha, if anybody wants to note. Teacher gives diksha according to the ability of the student. 
and circumstances. But that Shambhavi Diksha means Shiva himself, the Lord of yogic sciences himself, imparts that knowledge to the student. Before a goldsmith starts making ornament, he puts gold into the fire. When gold is purified, then he makes the ornament. That's a fire. First, you are prepared for that. Now, where is that Shiva? Comes down from the heaven? And where are we committing mistakes? You are meditating, nothing is happening. Something is happening not the way you expect. Not the way I expect at least. I expect that you would be meditating and coming to me, Swamiji, I feel joy. Here you come disappointed, Swamiji, nothing is happening. Smile.